Hi everyone, Dr. Zach here again. Today's lab is all about equilibrium and Le Chatelier's principle. And so what that principle says is that if you have a system in equilibrium, so we have our generic chemical equation here, where you have your reactants A and B, your product C, um, and then equilibrium is indicated by this double arrow. If you have a system that's at equilibrium and you disturb the equilibrium, your system will compensate by shifting in the other direction. So for instance, if you, if you start adding one of the reactants, like maybe B, it's going to shift the equilibrium to form more of your product C. Or likewise, if you were to add C, you're going to shift the equilibrium to the left, to the left, <laughs> to form more of your reactants A and B. And we can look at um, all of these and how they're related to each other via our equilibrium expression here, uh, where you have your equilibrium constant K, and we're gonna subscript it C to indicate that we're working with concentrations. And so you have your concentration of your product raised to its stoichiometric coefficient over the concentrations of your reactants each raised to their stoichiometric coefficients. Another variation of this is if you have an endo or exothermic reaction and you're dealing with heat. So for instance, if you have an endothermic reaction, you could consider heat to be a reactant and then you could treat it exactly like the concentration stuff that you were before. So if you heat up an endothermic reaction, you're going to push the equilibrium to form more of your product. On the other hand, if you had an exothermic reaction, so now heat is over here on the products, then now if you add heat, you're going to shift the equilibrium to the left to make more reactants. And so that's the background for today's experiment, so have fun.